Hey. <laughs> Hello, Eighteeny dear. What's up? I know, I know, I know. I've waited forever for this. I really have waited. I, I didn't cheat and watch this ahead of time. We're here to watch ATZ's Eternal Sunshine official MV, which came out a week ago here, oops. But I saved it to watch with you guys. I've just been busy. I'm very excited about this. I really, okay. When I first heard the previews for Deja Vu, Deja Vu and for Eternal Sunshine, I almost liked Eternal Sunshine better because it reminds me of Fever. Um, Cause it's obviously not the same, same thing, but like it's got, it's like a similar vibe to me. But I really, really love this song. I'm obsessed with it. I listen to it in the car all the time. The whole mini album is just so fucking good. But we need to, we need to watch the MV and see what it's like. I'm not gonna watch the dance practice cause I have a lot of things to film. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy what I can see of the dance in here and watch the dance practice by myself as I did with the Deja Vu dance practice too. I'm sorry, I got greedy. There are some things I will wait for and there's some things that I was just like, you know what, I am gonna do this myself. Um, but anyways, let's just go ahead and watch it. AT's Eternal Sunshine in three, two, one, go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna try not to sing along the whole time, but. Oh! Pixel! I love Minky and the silver hair. Honestly, the reason I loved this song so much at first was. This whole Mingi part. I'm coming up to you. Look at my world. I love it. Oh, did they have to film this video without Jungle though? Oh. I love the jacket, the bandana jacket they have him in. Oh, Yo Sang looks so pretty. Let's make it louder. Can't stop the feeling. Oh, Asana has a bandana jacket on too. Why did I not notice that? I do love this dance a lot too. Oh. Yes, I love the shoulder moves. Hong Jung looks like a little Pyongari. He's so cute. Yeah. They jump so high right there too. What? <laughs> this is so cute. I wonder if these are like green screens. Oh. I mean, the subway car is like a subway car, but I wonder if the apartments are a set. Oh. Oh, I like that. I'm so soft for these Mingi Jungle parts. I'm soft. Oh, I like the black outfit. I like that. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Sungwa looks like he's having so much fun. I love Sun in these pants too. That hat on Hong Jung is so ridiculous, but I love it so much. It's still so sharp. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
I love, I love that ending move so much. I remember it from the preview teaser. Oh my god. Do we have another end bit here? <laughs> this thing. Cute. I knew there was gonna Oh. Stop. Stop. Not the piano like little version of mo or the reel at the end. I'm gonna weep, that's so cute! Okay, well, way to end with that and make me like simultaneously so sad and like just explode my heart. Okay, so I'm always like, heart stand, sexy concept. Because ATs does it so well. I mean, I prefer, I guess if like given, given the option, I almost always prefer like a dark, sexy kind of concept, but just showing like the duality of how well they pull off like the sexiness of deja vu and the darkness and then just this like really pure warm fuzzy like but not overdone cuteness of this bright outgoing concept i don't know it's just it's so good and like i can't get over the song i feel like i commented about their hair in the deja vu one but again i love silver haired mingi i like the way that san's hair is styled better here than the other i think yosang looks incredible and so does you know and so they all do but like particularly those those members i think look really like they're really shining right now shine like eternal sunshine bummer that jungwoo's injury like didn't let him film in the choreography part of this but they still made sure that he got a lot of solo shots which they did in deja vu as well so cute love it so much i i love that that point at the end where they like lift up here like eternal sunshine we end with wuzan and then we get that special clip of wuzan at the end kill me please that's so precious i love it so much i don't know i don't know what else to say i guess i don't have to say much but i've decided since i'm already here watching 80s content i'm gonna watch a performance of bam Hanel or not too late i don't know if this was the first time that they did it but this is just one that i remember saving from the show on Oh my God, I've waited so long to watch this. 9, 28, 21. And I love this as a ballad. I was a little surprised at first um, when I heard this, not like in a bad way, but it just, it's so, it's, I don't know. They have ballads too, but I'm always like pleasantly surprised to hear ballads from them because they are less ballad heavy um, than sign groups. But I'm just gonna stop talking and enjoy, enjoy them singing live and just really have a time of that. AT's not too late or bam in three, two, one, go. And they never do stages like this where they're just standing and singing. Oh, I love the way his air styled right here. Oh, I love the cardigan on. I feel like they need to turn up the microphones a little bit. Yeah, I love this suit on, you know. He looks so beautiful. <gasps> the jaw head and the sweater, the collar on this. <clears throat> He looks so beautiful. I know it's not my fault. <gasps> His eyebrows look so good and the earrings. I love this brown, muted brown palette on them too. Oh. The emotion they're putting in in here too. The blue on the end of his hair looks so good. Mingyi! I 
feel like they should have pumped Pa's mic a little bit more. He's so quiet. Oh, look at the one earrings. He looks so good in that suit too. Finally, not a super long jacket. Like, it fits his proportions. Mm, mm, stylist. Kisses. Oh. Look at the emotion. That little falsetto from Jungo. That peep of shoulder from Sangha too. Beautiful! Beautiful! Wow. I mean, just I just love to watch them in any format. The styling is immaculate. My only gripe is that I wish their microphones had been up a little bit louder. And I know that it's a softer, it's a ballad song, but I want to be able to hear them over the back like the backtrack and the instrumentals, and some of them sing a little bit quieter. Like Sangwa sings pretty quiet. Yo Sang Sang sing loud enough that I could hear him over the track. But yeah, I just, I wish they had pumped up the, the microphones a little bit more on that. But that was really beautiful. I love the song. I love how much emotion they put into it. And I'm so glad that I just like waited to see it with you guys. So on that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. But if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. As a 18 -y, a very, a devout 18 -y who's just really bad at watching things on time, there will always be more 80s content, so please come back for more later. Or, if you haven't seen my other content, it is linked in a playlist here and a playlist there. You can leave a like if you would like. I'd love for you to comment and tell me what you think of both of these videos, or if there's something that I missed, or... Um, other things that I didn't know about. I try to keep up. I'm so sorry. I get so absorbed in my life and other groups and stuff, but ATs is like number one in my heart. Almost always, because Seventeen also lives at number one. But they are like with me. They're my comfort group all the time. Anyways, yes, like and comment if you would like. It's also super cute to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to me. But other than that, I will leave you. I hope you get yourself something delicious to eat today whether it's a snack or a meal. Take a nap if you deserve it. And I will, ooh, why that hand? I never do that hand. I'll see you next time because I know you're coming back. All right, bye.